channel friends, my name is Shayla and today I'm here to do a video that I do regularly on this channel and that is the releases on my radar video. I'm sorry you're getting this so close to release dates for September. Life got crazy and last week I really had no motivation to film so please forgive me for getting this to you a little close to the, a little close to things. So let's go ahead and dig right in. If you're not familiar with the series this is where I talk about the books and manga primarily that I am interested in that are releasing in the upcoming month. And this isn't going to be everything just because these are the ones that I am interested in. I know there are other big books and big series that a lot of people are interested in, but they just aren't currently on my list for a myriad of reasons. So feel free to go and do your own research and let me know in the comments down below what you're excited for that is not on this list. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is one that I was able to read an ARC copy of, and that is Bringing Down the Duke. This is a historical romance that deals with the women's suffrage movement in the late 1800s. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It was informational while also being fun and snarky and smutty and all the good things that we look for in a good historical romance. So I do strongly suggest picking this one up. It definitely has strong females and I'm all about that life. Next we have Cowboy to the Rescue by A.J. Pine. I believe this is a short little novella. I'm not 100% sure it might be a full book. But anyways, I really like cowboy romances lately and it's Smutty September so I'm all about any romances I can get my hands on. The next one is a step away from the smutty romances, of course, and that is The Harp of Kings. This is Julia Morillier's new series. It is her new epic fantasy. I do have an ARC copy of this. I haven't been able to get to it yet, but I do plan on reading that primarily when I go to BookNet Fest later this week. So that's going to be my plain book and all those kinds of things. So I am really excited to be digging into a new Julia Morillier. Um, I've not been able to experience any of her books like brand new as they were releasing. So I'm definitely excited to be able to do that for the first time because I do enjoy her writing. Um, next up we have Serpent and Dove. This is one of the big YA releases this year that everybody's talking about. It is witchy. I hear it's pretty steamy and some other things. I've heard good things from those who have read it. Most have either felt kind of lukewarm or they've really enjoyed it. No one's really hated it as far as I've seen so far. So I'm really excited about that. Next is one that I actually already own and that is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is a Ren Faire romance. Um, I picked it as my book of the month pick for last month. And again, this is one that I'm probably going to take with me to BookNet Fest because I think in the room I'll get some time to read. And if I don't feel like reading a big epic fantasy, I have something a little bit lighter and a little more fun to read as well. Um, next we have one that I have already read and that is The Paris Orphan by Natasha Lester. I read The Paris Seamstress already. Um, I want to say it was last year and I really enjoyed that. And then when I read The Paris Orphan, um, this one is a deeper book to me, but you're still dealing with fashion and things like that. It's really fun and really good. I really enjoyed my read of it. I will leave my Goodreads as always linked down below. So if you want for more information on that, you can look on Goodreads. The next one is the last book for this week and that is Kingdom of Souls. This is another new fantasy novel. Um, I've heard it's got great representation and it's just one that I'm genuinely looking forward to. Let's go ahead and dig into the manga for this particular week. And we have My Pink is Overflowing Volume 3. How we are blessed with Volume 2 and Volume 3 so close together, I don't know, but I hope that means Volume 4 is on its way shortly as well. This is a um, shoujo romance series about a girl with a specific kink. She really likes a guy in a button-up white shirt. And that's just totally her kink. And <laughs> like to the point of nosebleeds kink and it's just such a fun series. I really enjoyed it. Volume 2 left off on quite a big cliffhanger so I'm definitely looking forward to Volume 3. Um, next we have Our Precious Conversations Volume 4. This is another series that I absolutely love and adore. This is by Rubico, the same people who did My Little Monster. So in the beginning of this series we have a girl who confesses her feelings to a boy and his response is, well, that's selfish of you because she doesn't really know him. She's just looked at him from afar. And so through circumstances, they decide to start talking to each other and getting to know one another. It is sweet, full of lots of blushing, really cute, really fun. I really enjoy it. 
Next is a new series, and it's called Smile Down the Runway. So this is about a girl who loves to model and a guy who loves to make cosplay. Again, I believe this is either a shoujo or a jose series, but I am genuinely excited to be getting this one. This is a new digital first from Kodansha, and it's just going to be a good time. We have Daytime Shooting Star Volume 2. This is this was adorable. I got it early and I've already read it and oh my gosh, the blushing. My ship has changed. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I still love Suzume. Suzume is just the shoujo heroine of my dreams. She and I connect on a very deep level. So yes, definitely continue on with Daytime Shooting Star. Even if you just felt lukewarm about the first one, I feel like the second one was much stronger. It was really, really good. Next we have Kakarillo, Bed and Breakfast for Spirits, Volume 5. I continue to love and adore this series. It's such a good time, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Another series that I love and adore is getting another volume, and that is Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 3. I'll never have enough Snow White with the Red Hair. <laughs> I will read this until I am out of volumes to read. Um, next we have one that I've been anxiously awaiting for, actually, and that is The Demon Prince of Emoji House, Volume 14. In The Demon Prince of Emoji House... Um, it's a lot like Kamisama Kiss, but it's a little bit different, and it's just great. I really love it. And the next one is another new series, and that is Reborn as a Polar Bear. So it's one of those reincarnation-style mangas, but instead of being reincarnated as, like, Fenrir or something else, they're reincarnated as a polar bear. So I think it's going to be an interesting little read. All right, on to September 10th. Yes, guys, that was all September 3rd, not the entire month. All right, so we have the Magnolia Sword. This looks like it's a take on Mulan, and it looks really, really good. I am really interested in checking that one out. The next one we have is Stormrise, and again, this one deals with dragons and high fantasy. Another one that sounds like it's going to be really fun. Um, the next is another of one of the biggest releases of the year that I've heard everybody talking about, and that is The 10,000 Doors of January. This seems to be a portal fantasy, and again, I actually ended up picking this as my one of my Book of the Month picks this month, so I'm really excited to be digging into it. Next, we have Gideon the Ninth, which is necromancy and amazingness from what everybody's told me. It's some of my friends' favorite book of the year already, and so it's definitely high on my list. So let's get into the graphic novels and manga portion for this week. Um, the first up, we have White Sand Volume 3, which is the final volume of the White Sand Trilogy from Brandon Sanderson. I do plan on rereading Volume 1 and 2 before reading Volume 3 so that I can give you a full series review at that point. So everything in the story is absolutely fresh. Um, next, we have Eden Zero, Zero, ugh, Eden Zero Volume 4. I continue to like where this is going, where fairy styles stayed light and fluffy. This one's going to darker places, and I'm really interested to see where um, Mashima takes this. Then we have two new series, the first one being Queen Bee. This seems a lot like Toradora, if you're familiar with Toradora at all, and I'm really interested to see how that really comes across. And then the last one is Become You, Volume 1 by Ichigo Takato. You guys know I love Ichigo Takano, and I am really excited for a new series from them because Dream and Sun is wrapping up and Orange has been done for a long time. I think we're getting one more volume in that, and then it's really done. But either way, I'm excited for more Ichigo Takano. All right, let's move on to September 17th, and I only have manga for this week, no books. Um, so the first one is Living Room Matsunaga-san, Volume 6. I continue to love and adore this series. I love that we're getting physical copies, but in the meantime, I'm still going to read it digitally because I really like the series. Um, next up, we have Magus of the Library, Volume 2. You guys know I'm obsessed with this series now, and I will be thoroughly invested in it for the foreseeable future. Another one along that same lines is Beastars, Volume 2. Beastars is very Zootopia-like from Disney, and again, it's really good, really solid. I really enjoyed it. I'm interested to see where Volume 2 goes. Next, we have Cats of the Louvre. Um, this is a new hardback coming out from Viz Signature, and I, Cats artwork, that's like my dream come true. So yes, Cats of the Louvre. And the next one on this list is The Way of the House Husband, Volume 1. So... I've heard nothing but amazing things about this series. This is about a man who stays home and the woman works. 
and it's just kind of his day-to-day -day life from what I gather and it's just gonna be a good time. I'm really excited. And then last but not least for that week, we have After the Rain Volume 5, which is the final volume of After the Rain. Uh, as I've said before, when I've talked about this series, I don't think they're gonna end up together. I think he's gonna try to push her to doing something else with her life. And I think it's gonna be good and beautiful and I'll probably cry, but that's just my initial thoughts right now. All right, let's move on to September 24th. So first up, we have No Judgments by Meg Cabot. Again, this is another one that everybody's talking about because a lot of people read Meg Cabot growing up. I haven't read any Meg Cabot, but I do have an arc of this, so I will be reading this this month. And I'm genuinely excited to see how I feel about Meg Cabot's writing. Next, we have Snowfall on Cedar Trail, I believe. It's either Cedar Trail or Cedar Hill. I don't remember. But this is a new Christmas romance from Annie Rains. We're starting to get into getting the Christmas romances so that they're out before the Christmas season. And I'm really excited, <laughs> needless to say. And then I also have Christmas with a Cowboy on this list for the same reason. I love Christmas books. I love cowboy books. It's just a thing. Don't judge me. All right. And then we do have two volumes of manga on this last week of the month. And that is Overlord Volume 11. You guys know I'm really enjoying Overlord. It's one of the few like isekai stories that I'm really like collecting on my shelves. And then of course, my babies, The Ancient Magus Bride Volume 11 is coming out. And I could not be happier to get more of Chise and Elias. I really like where this new arc is going from what I read in volume 10. And I can't get enough. I'm so excited. So I kept all my descriptions very, very brief. And I am very sorry for that. But I really don't want to spoil anything for you. So definitely go look up any titles that sound interesting to you. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy the new things that are coming out. And again, as I said, let me know in the comments down below if there's something you're excited about that I didn't mention because I'm always looking at new things. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.